Capacitors, occasionally referred to as condensers or condensators, are electronic components that can store an electrical charge similar to batteries. However, while batteries release their charge slowly, capacitors charge and release energy in a more rapid manner. These simple components are constructed of two conductive metal plates that are separated by a thin layer of non-conductive material called a dielectric. The plates are made of conductive materials, which are almost always various types of metal, but other materials like carbon have been used. The common metals used are aluminum, tantalum, or silver, and the dielectric can be any insulating material. Common dielectrics include paper, types of plastic film, ceramic, glass, silicon, and more. The combination of metal and dielectric material provide us with the various types of capacitors we are used to seeing. To explain how they function, let's look at a basic, polarized, aluminum electrolytic capacitor. As power is applied to the capacitor, the plate attached to the negative lead will obtain a buildup of electrons, while the plate attached to the positive lead will release electrons. The dielectric material prevents electrons from flowing between the plates. This buildup and release of electrons creates a difference in potential or voltage between the plates, and continues until the capacitor reaches the same voltage potential as the power source. The capacitor remains charged until the power source is removed and a load is applied, thus discharging it. Because of this, capacitors must be handled with extreme caution and always treated as if they are charged. For more information on how to safely discharge a capacitor, take a look at our video where we demonstrate how to accomplish this. Now that you know how capacitors work, let's explore how their technology is useful. One use for capacitors is in applications that require a large, sudden burst of voltage, such as motor starting or camera flashes. Another use is to ensure steady power to a circuit by absorbing, smoothing, or filtering out quick changes in voltage, often called noise. If the power source falters at all, the capacitor will ensure the circuit maintains a steady voltage. Next, we'll discuss polarized versus non-polarized. Polarized capacitors only function in DC circuits and have higher leakage currents, but they can achieve higher capacitance values. Non-polarized capacitors can be used in both DC and AC circuits and have a lower leakage current, but they are much larger than a polarized capacitor of the same capacitance and voltage rating. Ready to start selecting the perfect capacitor for your latest design? Head to digikey.com and get started today. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.